Hey, second graders, got some good jokes again this week. Here we go. Why did the cookie go to the nurse? It felt crummy. All right, why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because it was stuffed. Last one. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what did the snail say when it was riding on the turtle's back? Whee! Bye, guys. Well done, Bobby. Well done. Well, second graders, we have phonics this week. And so let's get to it. You have some um, on your worksheets. You'll see at the top of them where they're telling you um, the differences with some words, which um, sometimes I get these mixed up, especially in lie and lay. Sometimes I get those mixed up. So anyways, I want to briefly go through those. So may and can, like how do you know when to use which one? So the word may you would use, not the month of May, but when you're asking permission, like May I go use the restroom? May I go out to recess? May I jump on my bed? All right, so you're asking if you can do something. Can is where, are, do you have the ability to do it? So I can ride my bike. Um, I can juggle. I can do this, mom. I can get my room picked up in five minutes. Okay, all right, and then um, lie and lay. So lie, well, is when you're not telling the truth, but when you compare lie to lay, lie is also when you go to sleep, lay down, rest, okay? I will lie on my bed, take a nap, lie down, take a nap, okay? And then lay is to actually like, Set something down, put something down. Okay, I will lay my lunch down on the table. Um, and sit and set are kind of similar to those. That's why I put those right here because sit, well, it means to you, you use your body to, I will sit down in my chair. Okay, but set is where you lay something down, put something down. Okay. All right. Um, also in your worksheets, you're going to have to diagram the subject and the verb, which we've done so much of in grammar. So it shouldn't be super hard for you. Okay. Because this is kind of like the basics of what we've done in grammar. All right. So you are going to have to identify your subject and your verb. In grammar, we often call that your subject noun. But um, for this, you don't have to label anything. You're just underlining. Okay, so um, remember, one of the best things to do is to figure out the verb, the action of the sentence. Okay, so we're going to use this sentence right here. Mr. Gillum's dogs barked at the cat. So we got to think about what's the, what's the action in this sentence. Well, it's barked. So you know you've got your verb. So that will be underlined twice. Okay, just your verb. We're not doing the whole verb phrase. For this and then who barked well did mr gillen bark or did the dogs bark the dogs so the dogs are the subject and then we want you to go ahead and put your division line in there okay um and then you guys are also going to have a section or two on putting commas in when you have a list of things of three or more so um Bobby told jokes to Emily, Ryland, Seth, and Avery. So we have a list of people, you guys. Um, so you would want to put commas in those lists because commas represent like a slight pause. Otherwise, it would be Emily, Ryland, Seth. Like that's her one big name, Emily, Ryland, Seth. No, three different people right there. Okay, so you would stick your commas in. I'll put them in red so you can see them clearly. Jokes to Emily, short pause, Rylan, Seth, and Avery. Reminder on that last one, the comma goes before the and. Okay, before.
before the end. So be one actor. Okay, and then finally, you guys are going to have a section on past tense verbs. So past tense means um, something has already happened. Okay? So you use your verbs, like when we speak, to show, um, kind of help show if that already happened, if it's happening now, or if it's going to happen. All right, so a lot of these you'll recognize by just thinking of how you've heard them used before. But sometimes you might get verbs that you might have to ask your parents, hey, how do you say that in the past tense? I don't really know. Okay, um, but I put a few present tense verbs up that we can work with. The most common way to make a verb past tense is to add ed. Okay, so right now I might chew my food, but this morning I chewed my food. Okay, so I put it in the past tense form. Already done it. All right, right now I might watch some TV, but yesterday I watched. All right, so those are some ED ones. That by adding the ED, you make it past tense. There are some verbs, though, where you change the spelling of the word. Okay, so let's talk about sing. Okay, um, Frida sings right now, or I sing right now. But yesterday, I sang. See how we spelled um, sang instead of, we, we didn't use singed, because that's just not the proper grammar. Is saying. And then fly. Right now I fly around the room. Yesterday I flew. So different spelling. All right. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully, some more good jokes from Bobby next week. Adios.